Hello and welcome to Byte Basics. I'm Earl Yeager. Today on Byte Basics, we're going to look at converting text and tables back and forth. So we're going to be converting text into tables and tables into text. Uh, and there's some different areas in which that becomes very useful. So one of the things that we often see is, as an example is we'll get a data table, maybe an Excel spreadsheet or something like that, and things are all combined into one single column. So maybe I have several pieces of information in one column that I'd like to see actually in multiple columns. So that's just one example, but we'll look at a few different ones on how we're going to be using that today. So if you look with me over here on my computer screen, you'll see that uh, I'm looking at a window from Teams here. So in Teams, we have the ability to pull out a report that is a gradebook uh, report that has just your student roster on it. So if you click from your grades area, if you click on the reports option, and you click on the student class roster teacher grid option, it's going to give you a uh, Excel spreadsheet that looks something very much like this. So this Excel spreadsheet here has a lot of really good pieces of information in it, but unfortunately when we get down here to the student area, the student's name, both first and last, as well as their ID number, is all in one field. And that might be fine if all I'm going to do is print this out and use this as a uh, grid for making check marks and things like that on it. But if I actually wanted to cut and paste this information into some other tool, I wanted to use it for something else, it might be really beneficial if these things were not all in one particular cell. So it would be nice if I had last name, first name, and ID number as three separate columns. So in order to achieve that, what we're going to do is we're going to select those pieces of information. So I'm going to pick all the students with their ID numbers and everything. I'm going to grab all of that information there. And I'm going to utilize one of the options that's hiding here in Excel. On our data tab here across the top, there's this function called text to columns. So we have text within, the, within this column, and we actually want it separated out into multiple columns. So I'm going to use text to columns, and it's going to ask me how I want to split it up. And I have two options, delimited or fixed width. Fixed width means if I know after 10 characters I want the split, I can split after exactly 10 characters. So that's sometimes really useful when you know that there's a certain number of characters. But with names, you don't know how many characters there's going to be. Some people's names may be you know, a total of 10, 12 characters long for their uh, last name. Others may have four characters for the last name. So the fixed width is not going to be very useful. So we're going to look at the delimited option. So we're going to choose delimited. And then we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then we have to pick what is the delimiter. And the delimiter in this case is going to be a comma. Because there is a comma separating the first name and the last name. So we're going to select comma. And generally when you first come in here, it'll have tab selected. So we're not going to use tab. We're going to uncheck tab. And we're going to choose comma. And so by choosing comma, you can already see a preview down here of what's going to happen. There are going to be last names in one column first names in the next column. As I scroll down, I can see it's going to do that with each of the individual people in my list, in my roster. So when I hit Next, I can make sure that everything looks the way I want, two different columns, and then I'll hit Finish. It says, do you want to replace the contents of the destination cells? Because it's going to split this from just column A, to columns A and B, it wants to make sure that we're not damaging any data in column B. Because I have no data in column B, I can just hit the OK button here. And when I hit OK, I now have two columns. One has last names. The next has first names and ID numbers. I can do this process a second time here. I can select this set of data. Again, do text to columns. And this time, I'm going to again choose delimited, but my delimiter is no longer going to be a comma. I need a different delimiter. Well, the hyphen is not one of the selected delimiters here. So I would go ahead and choose other, and then I can type in what my delimiter is going to be. In this case, it's going to be a hyphen. But you could put a colon. You could put you know, anything that's separating different uh, spaces. If there was a dollar sign, if there was something else, you could utilize whatever it is that's separating that information. So I'm going to go ahead and have a hyphen to separate these out. 
I'll hit next to make sure it looks like I'm having the correct two columns that I want. And then I'll hit finish. And I, again, I will have to say OK to make sure I'm not going to damage any data that may already be in column C. In this case, there's none. So I can say OK. And now I actually have it split into three separate columns. Last name, first name, student ID number. So that's sometimes really useful to take existing data and split it up across multiple columns. And now this was an Excel example. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Microsoft Word, because in Word you have some of those same functionalities. So if we look over at Word, here's Microsoft Word. And now I'm going to look at taking a list of names and converting it into a table. And then we're going to take a table and convert it into a list of names. So there's a couple of different things we can do here. So with my list of names, I'm going to select everybody in the list. Across the top here in the insert menu, there's the table option. Under insert table, one of the options is convert text to table. So that's exactly the same name that it used in Excel is to convert a set of text into a table. So I'm going to go ahead and choose convert text to table. And it's going to ask me some questions. My table, how many columns should it have? Well, it's looking at this and it's guessing that we're probably going to want two columns. And in this case, that's correct. Auto fit behavior, it's going to automatically fit everything so that you don't have uh, characters disappearing behind parts of the table. So that's fine. We're going to leave it to say auto fit. Then separate text at, well, it's guessing because there happens to be a column in each one. It's guessing we're going to split it at the commas. But if there was paragraphs that I wanted to split or tabs because the data was tabbed, I could split at any of those kinds of dividers. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and say OK for commas. And now I have two columns. And those two columns have last name and first name. I could then go back, select this first row, insert a row above, and then put in my column headers. So now I could go in here and put in last name. And then go over here and put in first name. So we could then label that out. So that would be taking text and converting it into a table. Sometimes we want the opposite, though. Sometimes we get a table. Maybe it's cut and pasted from uh, a web page or from an, another program. Or maybe we created a table or someone gave us a file with a table. And instead of the table, we now want text. So maybe I want first name, last name, comma, first name. That's actually what I would like to have instead of the table. So if we look back at the table here, I'll show you how to convert that back. So what we'll do here is I'll go ahead and select the part of the table that I want. And then I'm going to go under Table Tools. There is a Layout option. Under Layout, there's an option here to Convert to Text. So I can go ahead and click on Convert to Text. And then I can choose how I want it separated. Do I want a tab in between the first column and the last column? Do I want paragraph marks between the first column and the last column? Do I want commas in between the first column and the last column? In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose commas. That way I get first name, I mean last name, comma, first name. So I'll go ahead and choose OK. And now I have a list of text that has last name, comma, first name. Now in this particular case, it actually placed two, inter, uh, two spaces after the name. So we could go in here and clean that up a little bit by taking out those extra spaces if we wanted to do so. But other than that, it has separated it and has first name, comma, last name here. Okay? So those are some manipulation tools that we have for converting text back and forth from tables and text or text to tables. So sometimes we need to have it converted in one way or the other. We don't want to lose information. We don't want to have to retype everything. So those tools are out there to help you out with those kinds of conversion tasks. Hope that helps you. Have a wonderful day. This has been Byte Basics.